Good afternoon, my name is Rusty Gage and I'm, I'm a co-director of the CARTA. Before I get started today, I have a special announcement to make for, the, for all of you that are here. Some of you may remember that one year ago, almost to the day, CARTA hosted another symposium on theory of the mind in this same auditorium. Early on in the proceedings, a member of the audience experienced a serious medical emergency. The next 30 minutes were extremely worrisome and we all feared for the worst. Fortunately, through the truly humane-like altruism and cooperation of several people in the auditorium who immediately rushed to his aid and a tragedy was averted. I'm delighted to tell you that David Marshall not only recovered from his ordeal, but is here today with his wife and his grandson. Please welcome back Mr. David Marshall. By coincidence, three of Mr. Marshall's rescuers are also here today. <laughs> Dr. Bucci Grossi, Dr. Colby, who's not quite here yet, and Dr. Nolan. Please stand, those of you that are still here. <laughs> we want to thank them for their quick thinking and fast action one year ago today. We can all feel very safe during the symposium, knowing that you are in in safe hands. So thank you all very much. So CARTA, as an organization, addresses, we at CARTA address some of the oldest questions uh, facing humans. Who are we? What are we doing here? Where do we come from? How do we get here? And where are we going? I think from a biological perspective, a philosophical perspective, I think some of these questions may be addressed, but for more from a scientific perspective, we've honed down on these two, where do we come from and how did we get here? Uh, the concept of anthropogeny uh, is an old one, but one that we have revived within this uh, organization as a way of explaining or searching for an explanation of the origin of humans. The earliest uh, definition is from Hopper's medical dictionary uh, in the 1830s. This is a little bit of our organization uh, CARTA stands for the Center for Academic Research and Training in Anthropogeny. We have uh, three co-directors, Ajit Varki, myself, and Margaret, though I think Margaret and I would agree that Ajit pulls a lot of the weight. Uh, associate director is Pascal Ganou, who's uh, essential to the uh, functioning, both the teaching and many aspects, and uh, we're deeply indebted to him. We have a fantastic staff with Linda Nelson, Ingrid Bernerska Perkins, John Moreland, and of course Jesse and John who are indispensable. So uh, pursuing anthropogeny involves most, uh, many academic disciplines and those of you that have come to our, our symposium in the past have seen that we try to sprinkle uh, varieties of, of individuals from the humanities, biological sciences, physical sciences, social sciences, uh, within each symposium, uh, tapping into the strengths and um, knowledge base that exists in, in all of these areas. The mission, as we've sort of formulated it and over, honed it down over the years, is a little bit long, but I think uh, you'll get the idea. We use all rational and ethical approaches to seek all verifiable facts from all relevant disciplines to explore and explain the origins of the human phenomenon. There are a few additional pieces which are, while maximizing complex organizational structure, we try to avoid unnecessary paperwork and bureaucracy. In the process, we, we uh, hope to raise awareness and understanding of the study of human origins within the academic community, but we see as part of our charge also to uh, raise this awakening to the public at large as well. We have a special thanks for our major contributor, uh, which is the uh, Mathers Foundation, a charitable foundation in New York, and Jim Handelman, who's the executive director, generally uh, normally uh, attends most of the, these meetings and, and will not be able to make it today. Uh, special thanks to all of our individual supporters, a growing list of people that are, are uh, financially underwriting it, and we take a moment to thank all of them for their continued and ongoing support, we hope. And of course, a special thanks to Rick Wargo and the UCSD TV for filming this. This is on video and uh, we'll be able to follow this in real time and afterwards and of course for the Salk Media Surfaces. Mm -hmm.